right, it is the morning after with Nick and Big J. We're broadcasting live from Rock on the Range in Columbus, Ohio. We're here with Zach from Rise Against. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Nice to see you again. I look ridiculous with headphones. Yeah, yeah. I look like the thing, that <laughs> one weird, like, uh, robot that was in Empire Strikes Back that was in the Cloud City. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm about? It was like this. Yeah, More yeah, like that. Uh, right, there you go. You can pull it off, though, see? Just saying. It's a look that you can pull off. I am trying. So you should be happy with it. How are things, man? Yeah, things are good. Things are, things would be better if I could turn you up a little bit. Oh, what do you need? I, how do I do that? You need a little Let me make sure you're plugged in. Yeah. yeah. How's that? Is this me here? No, no. that's, uh... Where am I at? I got it. Hold on. There we go. It's loud. Okay, okay, there we go. Better? Yes. So last time we saw you was a Warped Tour a couple of years ago. Everything solid? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun to actually uh, catch you guys. And, of course, now you're out doing your own little thing, and you're here at Rock on the Range, which has got to be pretty cool, man. You're going to be in front of, I don't know, about 50,000 people in a couple of It should of be hours. good. Yeah, yeah, it should be really good. Uh, I think it's the second largest. So we played Lollapalooza last year, last summer, and uh, that was really big. And uh, this is, I think, the second largest... Uh, American audience we play. We were trying to get the statistics on that just a minute ago, but uh, I think that's true. It's going to be crazy, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, and uh, you guys just keep rolling on, man, and we're, uh, making great We're the music. little engine that could. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and, and uh, I, I remember uh, a few years ago when I first heard Rise Against, and and it was just like, it was a breath of fresh air because Thank you. It, it was like I could get back into some kind of punk-like music <laughs> and, yeah. and feel good about the music and it's socially conscious at the same time. Sure. Sure. Well, I mean, I think it's important with our band. It's it's like the the image is as that's Joe Prince right there. The image is more is less important than the and the, the pomp and the circumstance and the the rock stardom is less important to our band than just actually going on and, and playing a show and sweating and getting our message across and actually saying something when we have a mic in our face. Unlike what I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> I did ask you a question though. That's true. That is true. <laughs> actually, actually, you know, giving somebody something to think about when they leave the show. You know, instead of just oh that guy talked about partying for a half hour or whatever it might have been, you know, and promoted some energy drink, you know, yeah. uh, at least they get to leave with with some sort of maybe a thought. Maybe they're gonna go check out a website. Maybe they're gonna enlighten themselves or whatever. Yeah. So. And and that, I was just saying, and that's the reason that I mean, you don't hit people over the head with it. Sure, not you know, at it's all. It's in your music yeah. and it stands out. Whereas a lot of people will get up and do a lot of preaching, but yeah. you know, with you guys, it's different. It's all in the music. Well, you know, you don't want to. If you're trying to tell somebody that somebody that that, that you believe, um, it's kind of like I I any any organization or religious thing or whatever where they're just shoving it down your throat. The first thing you're gonna do is go, "Can we cuss?" Yeah. The first thing you're gonna go is, "Oh well, fuck that." You're not gonna. It's not gonna. It, 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 you're not gonna absorb it. You know what I mean? It's not gonna resonate with you. Right. Uh, you're gonna feel preached at. You're gonna feel made to do. You know, told to do something and forced to do something like in high school where you just don't, you know your parents making you do something. So uh, it's a suggestion. You know, it's not a it's not a, uh, an order. You know, you suggest. And that's all it is. And does that make the uh, the writing process a little bit more difficult for you guys? Because you know you know you want to have a message that you have sure. to get across, but you want to do it subtly, but you still want to you know keep that rise against uh, kind of image going. So well, you know what? It was done so creatively and 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 well with the band that influenced us, all the earlier punk bands that were, were saying something, um, it was just a part of them. It was just, it was, it, it was a, as much a part of the music as, you know, the drums were a part of them. You know, it's just, it's just something that happened. So, you know, getting influenced by those bands, uh, Minor Threat, the Dead Kennedys, uh, you know, all the early influential, like, like political hardcore bands or, or political punk bands, um, Bad Religion especially, you know, it, it, it was just such a part of, of their their fiber as a band that when this band sort of picked up guitars and started writing music, it just happened. You know, it was an organic experience. It was just, it, it just happened. Now, it really couldn't write a song or Tim McElwath, our singer, couldn't write lyrics without it just being a part of it, you know. I don't think that guy could write a song about partying if you paid him all the money <laughs> in the world. You know what I mean? But it's got to feel good that you're making a difference, too, Sure, the message is working. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's something that, it's the legacy of this band, and it's something this band will, will be remembered for. And it's the thing that this band gets asked about the most, pretty much, you know, which is something that makes us all real happy, and, and we're proud of that. So. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to the show tonight, man. Awesome. I can't wait to see you guys again. It's going to be great. So Rad. thanks for spending some time, Zach. Thank you so you much. Thanks take a lot. Care of oh, yeah, y'all take care. Keep up the good work. Buddy. Yes, yeah.